In this video, we are going to create the portal effect from the movie Doctor Strange using CC particle or inside after effects. Let's start by creating a 1920 by 1920 composition. Create a new null object and name it as parent null. Make it 3D, duplicate it and rename this to target null. Now link the target null to parent null and position it a bit up in the y-axis. Something like this. Now rotate the parent null using a time expression, time times 600. We now have a rotating target null. We are now going to use this as a particle emitter now. Create a new solid and name this as particle. Apply CC particle world effect to it. Now we need to link the position of the CC particle world to the target null's position. For that, we can use expressions. I already have these written in my notepad and I will also put them in the description. So basically what this expression is doing is, it first references the target null layer, then gets its position coordinates and converts it to world space. It then converts the X position value to CC particle world space and exports it as an output. Don't worry if you don't understand this. This expression can be copy pasted. So you can simply copy and paste this whenever you want to use a null object as a CC particle world emitter. You just need to rename your null object as target null for this to work though. So copy the X position expression and paste it in position X. Do the same thing for Y and Z. Copy the Y expression, paste it in Y. Copy the Z and paste it in G. There you go. We are now emitting particles from the target null. Decrease the size of the emitter. The particles are everywhere, so decrease the velocity. Nice. That's too much gravity effect for the sparks. So decrease it. Okay. Now increase the inherit velocity and check this out. Now let's add a flow to the particle system. Leave the flow position to 0.2 and change the flow action to bounce. There you go. Now our particles are interacting with the ground. But it's too bouncy. Decrease the bounciness. And this looks fine. Now increase the opacity and change the color of the particles to white. Now open the extras and change the depth key to to fade. This adds some nice depth and variation to our particles. And finally, decrease the lifespan and birth rate. This looks good. Now, let's create the portal opening animation. For that, just animate the Y position of the target null from 0 to minus 400. Check this out. As the target null is parented to a rotating null, it automatically creates this animation. Now let's increase the particle emitters. For that, create a new null and name it as helper. Make it 3D. Duplicate this and name this as target null 2. Duplicate this twice and link them all to helper null. Now move one null down the same amount as the target null 1. One to the right. And one to the left. Now link them all to the parent null and delete the helper. There you go. We now have four rotating nulls. To use them as particle limiters, duplicate the particle layer and edit the position expression. Let's change this to target null 2 and do the same thing to y and g expressions. Check this out. Now we have two particle limiters. Do the same thing for other target nulls too. And when we are finished, we are going to end up with something like this. Nice. But we have a problem here. When the portal is opening, these nulls are emitting particles. We don't want that. To fix this, first arrange the particle layers one after another in order in the direction of the rotation. So when you are finished, you should have arranged the particle layers like this. One, two, three, one after another. Now animate the opacities of the upper three particle layers from 0 to 100 or a duration of say 12 frames. Now check this out. 
Okay, it's working, but all the particles are getting emptied at once. To fix this, erase the opacity animations one after another, so that particles get emitted one after another. Now it's looking better. So we finished the particles. Now let's create the core of the portal. Create a new solid and name this as Saber. Apply a circular mask and scale it down. Now add a Saber effect to it. Saber is a free plugin from videocopilot.net. I recommend you guys to install it cause this will be useful for a lot of instances. And it's also free. So after applying the Saber effect, change the code type to layer mask and change the preset to mist. Change the color to white. And set the blending mode to edit you. It's too bright. Decrease the core size. Decrease the end size to zero. Now link this to the parent null. Great. Now animate the end offset. Go to the frame where all emitters become visible. Set the end offset to 100. Go to the first frame and set this to 0. Now let's check this out. Nice. Now animate the mask path scale. Maybe rotate it a bit backwards. And I animate the opacity during the initial frames. Now do some minor tweaks till you're satisfied with the result. Finally, add some distortion to the core to finish it off. Now create a new solid and name it Saber Floor Cutoff. Add a linear wipe effect to it. Change the transition completion to align with the floor and feather it a bit. Now use this as an alpha mat and adjust the value a bit if needed. Nice. Now add a new adjustment layer, add some glow to it. Add a basic color vibrance effect and change the color to orange. There you go. We finished the portal effect. Now if you want to use this in your scene, turn off the adjustment layer and render it as a sequence. You can now import the sequence into your scene and set the transform mode to say add or screen and it will work. So I will show you my workflow how I did it. Now import your footage and 3D track it. Once it's tracked, select few points on the floor and create a null and a camera. Now import your rendered portal sequence. Make sure the footage interpretation is set to 24 frames per second or whatever frame rate you created the portal before. Add it to the composition and move the anchor point to the base of the effect. Make it 3D, hold Alt and Shift and pick with the track null to move it in position. Align it and change the transform mode to screen. Scale it down and position it. See, the footage is logged in position now. Add some blur, add some glow, and add VC color vibrance and change the color to orange. Now let's add some ground reflection. Duplicate the portal layer and invert its position. Add a linear wipe effect and place it before the basic color vibrance effect. Cut off the footage almost to the end and feather it a bit. Add some blur. Now duplicate the portal layer one more time and invert its position. 
Adeline and wife effect. Cut off the footage to almost half this time and feather it. Now create a new solid and apply fractal noise effect to it. Make it 3D and position it at the base of the portal. Orient it and scale it up. The noise looks stretched. To fix this, decrease the scale height. Also, increase the contrast a bit. Now duplicate the 3D camera and pre-compose the fractal noise layer with this camera. Name this compound blur map. Now add a compound blur effect to the portal reflection layer and select the compound blur map as the blur layer. Increase the blur amount and you can see that it's not working. To fix this, pre-compose the reflection layer with the 3D camera and change the transfer mode to screen. Now add the compound blur effect. Now it works. Decrease the opacity of the reflection layers as a final touch. Okay, now add some light on the ground. Create a new white solid. Make this 3D and position it at the base of the portal. Orient it. Scale it up. Add a circle mask. Decrease its size. And feather it up. Pre-compose this with the camera. Set the blending mode to attitude. Decrease the opacity and add some color to it. Animate the opacity to animate the lighting. Now, let's create the environment on the other side of the portal. Import your environment footage and pre-compose it. Add a CC cylinder effect and send the position to portal's position. Decrease the radius and tweak the position a bit. Now set the random mode to inside and tweak the position and rotation until you are satisfied. So we will end up with something like this. Place this environment below the portal layer. Now let's create an alpha mask for this layer. Create a new square white solid. Add a circular mask. Position anchor point at the base of the layer. Make it 3D and position it at the base of the portal. Scale it down and tweak the position. Add a linear wipe effect and cut it off just a bit. Feather it out. Now use this as an alpha mat. Animate the opacity of the environment map so that it slowly becomes visible through the portal. Also added a blur effect inside the portal while it's opening. It's up to you, experiment and get something you like. Now pre-compose the environment with the camera. Now, let's add a reflection for this environment. Duplicate the environment and add a mirror effect to it. Set the reflection center to the base of the portal and change the reflection angle. It works. But we have a problem here. The reflection center won't remain locked at the base of the portal and the effect won't work. To fix this, add an expression to the reflection center and link it to the portal layer's anchor point. Okay, now it works. Now create a new solid. Make it 3D. Position it at base of the portal. 
add a mask and cut off the top portion. Add another mask and cut off the bottom like this. Feather it out. And now use this as an alpha inverted mask. Add a compound blur effect, select the compound blur map as a blur layer and decrease the opacity. Okay, there's still some minor tweaks to do, but for the sake of this tutorial, with this, we're done. Thank you for watching.